Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, love reading. This is going to be for uh, Sagittarius. Uh, what do they want from you? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 2022. So Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at someone that um, is recently coming back into your life. Or it could be that someone that you've been dealing with for a while. Basically, they're not really making their intentions known, their feelings. We're going to see what this person wants from you. And then we'll finish off the read to see um, uh, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life or that you continue moving forward with this individual, okay? So apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. So uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification button so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, um, Sag, let's get started. Tell me about Sagittarius here. The person that Sagittarius is dealing with or someone that's recently coming back into Sagittarius's life. What does this person want from Sagittarius? What does this person want from Sagittarius? What does this person want from Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 2022 for Sagittarius. We have the Three of Wands, okay. Three of Wands and the Six of Swords. Whoever this is, this person is yearning for you here, longing for you. Um, could be an indication that you might be at a distance from this person now, okay? Uh, seems like the, maybe someone here is trying to come back towards someone too. Uh, we have the Two of Wands here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Whoever this is, someone here is trying to decide whether to come forward towards you whether to approach you, whether to communicate with you, because this Queen of Swords has something to get off their chest here, okay? Libra, Aquarius, Gemini could be dealing with the air sign here. You might have air energy in your chart with a hangman here in the Hierophant. The hangman came out in the reverse, by the way. Seems like this person is not seeing something here. I feel like there's something they need to do that can get you that can get them back on your good graces here, but I feel like this person's not seeing it. Could be that this person, you know, whatever they've done to you, I feel like this person doesn't see how they have hurt you. This person might not really be, be taking responsibility for their actions here. It, it seems like it, it comes down, it comes down to doing the right thing here. And I feel like this person's not seeing it. Uh, tell me about the two of wands. Not the two of wands, three of wands. We have the hermit Virgo energy. It's the six of swords and the four of swords here. Okay. Seems like this person is doing a lot of introspecting, self-reflecting here, doing some soul searching, trying to find those answers, you know, trying to figure out, you know, what role, what role they played and, you know, and what happened between you guys. I'm not quite sure what happened between you guys, but it could be a situation that this person made you wait for a long time. Okay. Or that this person distanced themselves from you. We have the six of wands here and the two of wands. Two plus uh, six is eight. Queen of swords. We have the nine of swords here. We have someone here who's incredibly stressed out. Yeah, stressed out whether they should communicate with you or not. So I feel like this person is in your energy. You might be feeling all this too, uh, Sagittarius. The hangman in the reverse. We have the king of swords. We have the king to the queen of swords. This is a true pair here. This is you not paying attention to this individual anymore. Paying attention to this queen, king of swords. Because with the hangman in the reverse, like I said, someone here is not seeing something or that someone here is not releasing something here or releasing you, the hierophant. And then we have the two of swords. Like I said, someone here is not seeing something that they did here. I don't know. Maybe this person confused the crap out of you. Okay. Like I said, maybe this person made you wait around. Uh, let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? What will happen if Sagittarius allowed this person back into their life or if Sagittarius continued moving forward with this individual? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 2022. 
All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. Seems like there's an energy of that. It seems like there's an energy that you guys can get back together here, or that you guys could move towards higher levels of commitment. Okay, uh, Leo energy with the Sun. We have the Fool here in the Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's going to be a ton of communication that's going to be happening here, uh, Sagittarius. Aries energy with the Fool. We have the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Seems like this person ponders a lot and they feel like this person thinks in circles or maybe talks in circles here. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I feel like you might talk in circle with this person because I feel like, you know, there's an energy of someone here that's just trying to shake someone, trying to wake them up, trying to get this person to see something, but this person's not seeing it, like I said. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? You have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Sun and the Ace of Pentacles here. You know, we have someone here that's definitely coming back for a new beginning here. Someone here has a big offer here for you, um, Sagittarius. The thing is, I feel like there's a big pink elephant in the room. There's a big pink elephant in the room. I feel like when this person does come back or that this person reaches out, I feel like you're trying to figure out what to do here. I do feel like there's gonna be a conversation between you guys. The Fool. Why is the Fool here? Why is the Fool here? All right, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Eight of Wands. Four of Cups. And this person's all over the place here. Yeah, this person's coming in with an offer, an apology, okay? Yeah, I feel like you're wondering if this person is even sincere. The thing is, I feel like you don't. Like I said, this person is not seeing something that they did to you, okay? It seems like this person is having a hard time understanding or getting the memo here. King of Pentacles. We have Justice, Sleeper Energy here. Seven of Pentacles. And the Five of Swords. We have someone here that's definitely facing their karma. This is a karma that they're creating for themselves because, some, like I said, someone here is not seeing something that they did here. And I feel like someone here is having a hard time making, making things right with you. Okay? I just feel like this person just ponders in circles, wondering why you're mad at them or something like that. Okay? Wondering, you know, what they did. You know, I feel like this person knows what they did, but I feel like this person doesn't want to say anything because there is some sort of regret here. I'm not quite sure what happened. Like I said, you know, I mentioned a bu bunch of um, different scenarios that could have happened here. So like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation. But, you know, someone here could be facing your karma for doing, you know, doing this to you, not recognizing what they did to you. You know, this is self-inflicting karma that they're inflicting on themselves here, Sagittarius. Okay. I mean, it seems like they're, you know, trying to, you know, trying to win you back. But, you know, I just feel like this person's going to come up empty handed because like I, said, I keep saying, yeah, I keep saying this, but, you know, I feel like this person's not seeing what they did here. So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.